Okay, so you have a specialism. And as I was shuffling before I started recording, this one came out a couple times. So maybe you're headed towards something, um, a new specialized career, specialized field, um, something like that. Okay, and then alliance, perhaps making, um, you know, making amends and alliance, um, coming together with groups of people, which are definitely going to help you grow, I see. And then brilliance. So really use your intuition. Really use your creativity. Um, anything that you might be sitting on that you don't think you would be good at. or Because um, I do feel with specialism, uh, there's a sense of being pulled to something special. Or um, maybe even forming something new. Creating something new. And then perspective. So this will really help, help you go, grow as far as perspective. Um, looking at everything it's almost like um, dotting all those i's and crossing all those t's and just looking at the big picture of things and then um the other one that came out too is fragments so you could be feeling a little bit at pieces um, not knowing which way to go um maybe scattered maybe there's a lot of things going on i mean today's election day i do pray that america votes for the right person and sees through all the clutter that has been put on mainstream uh, media and um I definitely do feel like there's a sense of that, you know, getting a good perspective and alliance uh, around you. So, and if it's not anything like that, it definitely could be, you know, maybe you're just feeling a little scattered, um, maybe too many options, maybe. And then you have renewal. So something new is starting out, trying to form for you. It may take a little risk for you to, to get to where you want. Okay. So welcome guys. I hope you're doing well. Stay healthy and safe and just attract that for yourself, okay? Um, let's see here. Specialization. What does this mean for the viewer? And right away, Nine of Swords, so you're worried about it. Um, worried, maybe stress. Uh, are you not feeling balanced? Are you being called to something that you're sort of dragging your feet to? That, um, you know, it could be a different field. Um... It could be a sense of um, uh, something new that you're trying to create. Specialism, what does this mean? It also, like, are people not seeing you um, for what you are or they're not getting you? Maybe you've gone through a little change and they, it's almost like the energy of maybe feeling misunderstood or um, almost like you're becoming unified and grounded, but maybe the others that are in your environment don't quite get that, you know? Um, Nine of Swords, please. Nine of Swords. So you got the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Princess of Wands. So with this this card, it, it's very much about being balanced. It's a very much about having intuition. Um, this really sets you up for growth and prosperity. And that's definitely the energy of, of somebody progressing forward and and. I feel like this there's worry here because you got to walk away from something that has been causing quite a bit of uh, just uh, stress, burdens, too much to handle. Um, Princess of Wands, is it somebody who's younger? Is it somebody that um, you can't keep up with anymore? <clears throat> That's It's a strange kind of energy. Um, is it somebody who maybe hasn't matured and you've matured and, and so you, you're, you're different? You're with the specialization it's very much being tuned into your spirit okay so are you having sort of fear of walking away from someone um someone or something a situation okay what is the nine of swords and i feel it's because you're drifting apart almost as if you meshed together quite well in the beginning for some time and you started growing apart from a situation or a person okay you have to take it as it resonates um <clears throat> okay let's see here they did fall on the floor as i picked them up to shuffle let's see we'll see if they come out okay um i was going to say what is nine of swords but you got the two of wands the ten of swords and the fool you're stuck in this decision you're indecisive about something but yet you desire a new beginning and really to go forward as well, okay? But maybe you're just stuck in something that you just feel that you can't get away from. I'm going to put them back and we'll see if they do come out, okay? Um, nine of Swords, please. What is the Nine of Swords? What's the Nine of Swords here? And specialization. What does this mean, please? The Sun. You need to heal. 
um, I feel that moving yourself away from a situation that gives you a lot of worry, a lot of stress, it's really the kind of energy where spirit is telling you it's time to heal. It's time to really get everything that you've been trying to manifest, everything that you've been dreaming of. Um, and the Seven of Cups is very much where do you stay in that dream state kind of um, energy and just keep it in your mind's eye of the things that you want to create and, and you know, go forward in this life? Or do you stay in the Nine of Swords energy and stay in fear and don't really go outside of that box to explore or expand yourself? Because um, there's things calling you. Um, synchronicities, guidance, dreams, um, just a whole new you wants to come out is what it feels like. Um, and perhaps you're having reservations because maybe you fear. Do you fear walking away from a situation? Um, because there's definitely, this is a time for that new opening, okay? Um, <clears throat> what is the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups, please. What is the Eight of Cups? Okay, so you have the Emperor and the World. See, it's very much that energy. It's time. Um, you know, be really grounded. Um, go towards stability. Uh, this is definitely a sense of even um, a person that might be already in a situation with somebody. Are you trying to heal a relationship? Um, did you, it, it, and they're saying it again, it's almost as if you've drifted from somebody. Um, spiritually, uh, somebody has gone down a spiritual path and somebody has stayed perhaps in a material path. And so what do you do? I mean, that's the question this person's stuck in and, and that's why they're in limbo. But definitely spirit and god are saying you know there's a whole new opportunity for you there's something different there's something better there's definitely a sense of this is not the last thing that you're going to be able to create um it's almost as if this is a new cycle and you're really being led towards this kind of abundance and growth that brings you really the sense of happiness and stability and perhaps satisfaction as well is what it feels like but if you look at this emperor there's someone else there are you being controlled by somebody are you being in a sense watched um and not able to somehow become unified within yourself let's see what's at the top of the deck you got to see the five of wands there's conflict guys um and the chariot so it's a matter of fact uh, a matter of time before you get balanced out and you take some kind of action what is the ten of wands Maybe somebody's stressing you out, you know, Ten of Wands, what's the Ten of Wands? Or perhaps maybe you just got suckered into doing a lot of things for somebody and now you can't sort of get out of it, you know? Look at that, Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, Five of Swords, that is, boy, if that isn't like an indication of something burdensome and stressful with the Ten, ten of Wands, I just don't know. I mean, each card that came out is somewhat negative. Um, the only thing is that I see you, tr and, and it's almost the same thing as over here, you, you're dreaming yourself getting out of this, but you're not taking action. Um, perhaps you're on the verge to take action because with the Eight of Swords, I definitely do feel like this is where you need to control the situation. You need to get back into that emperor seat and take back your power, take back your control, especially if people around you in your environment, whether it's a family, whether it's work whether it is your lover that's causing you to somehow have some kind of conflict within a situation, it's almost as if you sort of have to surrender to it and walk away from it. That's how the Five of Swords works. And perhaps with the Four, four of Cups, you've been waiting for this time because I definitely do feel it's time for you to move away from this. It's not It's not getting any better. Oh, okay, let's see. What, what is the Princess of Wands? Are you, are you trying to give this message to somebody? See, Princess of Wands, this could be maybe where your heart wants to go to um, as far as feeling better, um, as far as with the Three of Wands and the Princess of Wands, is this where you want to direct yourself towards um, to something that is maybe nicer, more genuine? Um, do you have a message to give? Has this something, has this been something that you've been waiting for for a long time to either manifest or hit you, you know, hit your reality? Um, give me one more princess of wands so it's almost a feeling of you've got to either fess up to somebody that you want to you want to leave and i definitely do feel like there's a sense of also going towards something that is new something that is full of growth something that can help you heal um and there you got the six of wands so you'll have your victory and your success you will um and it'll get you to that point where you can really feel like everything everything that you see do and think it's all sort of a message for you to go in a certain direction um 
So perhaps this is where you start a new cycle, is what it seems like, okay? And don't be scared of that. Um, you definitely could be, if this is a, a boss that's just over your shoulder all the time and not letting you work, that could be very uncomfortable. And it would be vice versa if it's somebody that you're in a relationship with that causes you a lot of agony and strength and um, not strength, um, a lot of like a fear, um, almost as if they do take your strength away and your power away. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. So I think that whoever this is, they're really moving towards a new beginning, a new cycle. Um, because my gosh, that's what the Six of Wands is, victory and success. And maybe this is something that you need to really overcome being in fear of, of letting something go and starting something new. So what is alliance? So this is coming together with somebody that thinks like you. This is attracting those people, new friends that think like you or, or new relationships or new partners. Um, alliance, please. It brings you to a sense of stability and growth and definitely being able to communicate better. I do definitely do feel that this is somebody who might have a grown a partner or a situation and it's almost as if you're seeking a little bit more. You're seeking more substance is what it feels like, okay? Um, okay. These things sort of want to come out as well. Let's see. Alliance, you have <clears throat> the Queen of Cups. Is this where your intuition is telling you? Is this where your source is somewhat guiding you to perhaps have some kind of love for yourself or open up to intuition or following your spirituality? Um, I think this could be different for somebody. This is a Princess of Cups, meaning you might have not thought this way. Maybe you're thinking outside of the box. Maybe you're seeing things different now, okay? Um, maybe not so closed off. You got the Princess of Cups, the Nine of Coins, wow, and the Hierophant. So is this somewhat of a change in partners, almost like doing that musical chairs? Like, are you worried because you're, you're getting out of one partnership and going into another? Um, I do feel like the alliance is with this Queen of Cups. This is the person, perhaps, that you want to switch your relationship. Um, in other words, get out of an old relationship and come together in a new relationship, perhaps with this Queen of Wands. I'm sorry, Queen of Cups. Um, uh, let's see here. What is the Queen of Cups? This is where you want to go. Um, the Two of Swords. It's very much peaceful. It's very much loving. It's very much healing. Remember I told you earlier over here, it's almost somebody that you want to go to that heals you, that helps you to see things clearly, who doesn't keep you fogged up, who doesn't manipulate you, who doesn't look over your shoulder every five seconds. In a sense, you're able to be your own person with this person. And that's very important, I feel, for whoever this is. Um, what is the Princess of Cups? What's the Princess of Cups, please? Princess of Cups. What does this mean? the high priestess so yet to reveal this decision you still have to i feel you're going towards with this two of swords it's very peaceful it's very much knowing um i feel like this is something that you may need to expose to this princess of cups give some sort of message um about some kind of emotional startup you know um i want to know what is the nine of coins so nine of coins success gain uh, potential let's see you have the Princess of Coins, the Lovers, and the Five of Coins. You're missing this person that is single. That is the Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like that is where your heart is being guided to. With the page of, this is the page of coins. So it's very much where your heart is being guided to. This person brings you success. They bring you peace. I do feel like this is a decision of a lifetime. There, this is something that I do feel it's in the midst of being manifested, perhaps by both parties here. Um, and I definitely do feel like there's a sense of missing, missing out, being lonely. Um, almost as if that loneliness is somewhat... Um, you're just tired of the loneliness. It's what it feels like. It's But it's pushing you to somehow make a change, you know, because I don't think you want to live like this forever. What is the Hierophant? What is the Hierophant, please? So you have the Fool starting over. I want to know what is the High Priestess? What is... Okay, I was going to say what needs to be said. The Ace of Coins, you know, a new beginning. Okay, courage enough to leave this stagnant energy. And there's that Two of Wands. It did come out. Remember I told you, I, I, I said, let's see if they come out. They came out. It's almost as if you've got to move towards this because you're stuck on it. Um, and these are the things that need to be conveyed with the Princess of Cups and the High Priestess, you know, change, courage, um, 
maybe soulmate material too i see um healing a lot of healing um there's definitely a sense of emotion with the strength card i feel um and i do feel like there is a sense of needing to speak about a new beginning maybe apologies coming in to start over but this is definitely the the thing that has held you back is that you've been stuck in the situation maybe a situation that you weren't willing to move from um and you got the six of cups i didn't see it it, it was laying right here okay so six of cups this is what you want to return to um and you're very stuck on it it's almost as if you've gone on with your life you might have you guys might have had different partners okay um but yet there's this energy of still wanting to be connected of still um of still being connected um very spiritual very um loving um i feel like very carefree in a sense of it's easy it's easy to be together um meaning comfortable you're very comfortable together okay um and i feel like this is more of a matured love than a love that happens as a first love if that makes sense um what they're saying is this is definitely it's almost like you both have had relationships um but this is the one this is the one that you've been waiting for really is what it, it, it they're saying okay um <clears throat> the brilliance please so really being creative really following your passion um and don't be afraid to shine don't be afraid to shine is what they say brilliance please you're being enlightened and it's almost as if you're being enlightened and it just hurts so much because you're not following that guidance you see um and definitely it's there so you have the chariot it's time they say you, you you've pretty much balanced things you understand things you know what's going on you know what's good and you know what's bad um but now it's the time to get on that car and, and drive it okay with the chariot um maybe this is a person who's done that transformation and now it's time to get out of that rut that thing that doesn't help you grow okay and like i said it could be work could be family but i definitely feel like it's love especially with the lovers and the, the two of wands um and the six of, six of cups so the ace of cups you see um it's almost as if you've done your cycle why hold on to the negative why hold on especially if somebody's not willing to change or compromise or uh, get you out of fear um they they drive this relationship in fear and um somewhat um uh, like compliance like you know do what i say um yeah it's really sticky it's really sticky energy let's see what is <clears throat> what is the chariot what's the chariot please what is the chariot ten of coins this is where you're being pulled to as far as success and to start over maybe you, you're afraid of losing all your money but your money is going to be there what is the ace of cups what is the ace of cups please what's the ace of cups here okay so you got the eight of wands to take that action to open up and communicate there's a lot of red here there's a lot of love is what it feels like as well um but you got to take that self-love inside of you to push you to go towards that great success um, instead of just sitting back and, and maybe, you know, in fear or worry that maybe this will never evolve or it won't have a chance. Um, <clears throat> perspective. What is the perspective here? So you have the temperance, the empress, and the two of cups. And the two of cups flung out in reverse. This, this is your person. This is your spiritual connection. You got the empress and the emperor on the board. Um there's definitely a sense of needing to move towards this relationship because you're losing you're losing without them um i feel like there is a sense of being estranged separated um but you really wanting to come together i feel like this is a spiritual connection you got the empress and the temperance so definitely a sense of um this is your healing person this is your person that balances you out um and let's see what is the two of cups in reverse please Two of Cups in reverse. What does this mean, please? Okay. Nine of Cups. You'll get your wish fulfillment, okay? Um, divine timing um, and also the Queen of Coins. I think it has to do with maybe releasing the Queen of Coins um, or another another person. What is the Queen of, Queen of Coins, please? Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins, please. Okay, so the Knight of Swords. So it's, it's very much something that is being worked out for you there is going to be some kind of action taken um perhaps this is this is it uh the person that could be causing the delay here with the two of cups 
is the person that either they're married to or they live with or they're together with okay um you know boyfriend girlfriend husband wife or just together like boyfriend and girlfriend i guess um but i, I do think i i do see things happening with your wish fulfillments and somebody taking action because they've looked at the big picture they've seen something that maybe they didn't quite see before or something that they blinded themselves to something that they they sort of stayed in this mentality of you know i'll be complacent and I'll, i won't do anything to change my life i'll just stay there but there's something some kind of spark some kind of something that you found on the inside that is causing you to to change um so i definitely do feel like this this is where you're you're meant to be with the two of cups the empress for sure I, I do feel like that is going to happen for you. Okay, so let's see here. Um, how does the story end for today? How does the story end for today, please? Okay, so you got the page of wands and there's that message of i am got to go. Um, you know, but this is going to allow you to open the door to growth. There's the hangman. That means somebody has been enlightened. That other person has helped you to see things and that other person is your twin. The person that has helped you to be enlightened, okay? Um, there's that star card. It's very much a, a divine connection. It is very spiritual and that's why they have opened your eyes to see things in a different perspective. And perhaps with the King of Pentacles, this is definitely a sense of a, a King of Pentacles that is surrendering to something with the Five of Swords. Um, I feel like this is maybe even a surrender to manipulation manipulation they say or um, materialistic stuff or even just staying stuck in a marriage because they were married you know um i feel like this is a surrender to walk away from it okay give me one more give me one more please give me one more as the conclusion okay it's this one down here so really taking that that action to create that balance within themselves and then the ace of wands passion a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of gifts coming in. Things that just work out in your favor. Okay, with that Ace of Wands. So let's see here. What can you tell me about this story for today, please? What can you show me? What can you show me about this story? Okay, so um, despair, distraught, um, really isolated. Uh, somebody who is missing you. Okay, someone who is lost without you. Um, I do feel like service is definitely that sense of working. Uh, working on a situation the priest very much praying waiting waiting for this to happen um and i do feel it's like you're going towards towards um you're going towards happiness and that's what you're waiting for um let's see i also saw the cat so and the cat is somebody who is you know facetious but you have the foe so see it's almost like you have to wait for this foe or this bad person to sort of wipe off, be wiped off your environment so that you can start over again, if that makes sense. In other words, e either walking away from this person, either just um, breaking up with them, divorcing them, whatever the situation is. Um, it's almost like a, a sense of waiting and you're waiting for your manis manifestation to occur, okay? What else with the foe? What's with the foe? <clears throat> so it says wedding. So it's the person they're married to, you see. The person that they're married to keeps them locked in that in that chain, in that dungeon of not being able to move and not being happy. What, show me one more. One more, please. One more. Are you leaving this person so that you can get in that relationship you want, remember? I do feel in the beginning, it's almost like you sort of have a little bit of fear because you're getting out of one relationship to run, one relationship to run to the other, okay? And that could be the wedding card as well. Um, because you got the messenger, you got to give a message to somebody that is waiting for you. Um, and you really do, I do feel you have feelings for them. You're lost without them. Okay. It could be vice versa. It, versa if it isn't you. <clears throat> no, sorry. Okay. What is the angel message for today? Angel message for today, please. What is the angel message? Okay. Ariel. It says new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself allow your spiritual gifts to open through study prayer and meditation 
and I'm telling you that's what's happening here with the specialization and perspective you're 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 really trying to shine bright and and change a situation and think more positive and be more loving and um, receive more love but you're in a situation that keeps you in that darkness so there is a choice that needs to be made in order so you can have all the abundance or the love that you want or the job you want or that home whatever that is for you okay um <clears throat> let's see i want to know what is the karmic love message here the karmic love message what is it please you you'll find what you seek definitely you're seeking something and you will find it okay don't give up give yourself more credit and that you have options is a meaningful is meaningful rough on so you do have options you don't have to be stuck there um i want to know what is the pouring in for today okay this one <clears throat> okay it says your time will come some souls are slower to blossom building their inner beauty in time over time until just the right moment then the fullness of their beauty power and grace is revealed providing powerful healing medita medicine for those in need of comfort and hope so it, it's very much waiting for your time we talk about that there's a waiting but there's also a sense of coming to the person that has helped you to open up to your spiritualism your your spiritual awakening and also the sense of um they heal you okay so it's almost like you're being guided to this healing kind of energy. I want to know what is the message that they would give each other if they could at this moment. What is that message, please? What is the message that they would give each other? Okay. So let's see here. Okay, this one right here. <clears throat> Deep in your heart, you already know. Do you, you already know the answer? Do what feels right and exactly they definitely know already okay and then this one right here life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when you resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads you and then this one right here it says embrace through each other you find the missing pieces exactly exactly what it feels like and then this one right here soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically and that's because it's a special union it's a special connection that you're both linked into so there you go guys i hope you like this reading god bless you god bless america and god bless the world go out and vote and make the right choice so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow have a blessed day